Hey, 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 everybody. Joe King with you. We are in Lovelock, Nevada. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because of you've heard the Lovelock Caves, the world famous Lovelock Caves, and the story of the red headed giants that have burned up there. So we're, we're gonna head over there to the caves, but first, this, uh, this is uh, the courthouse for Lovelock. This here uh, is in front of the courthouse. We saw this uh, exact same headstone on my little mashup video about Virginia City. They have identical, the identical Ten Commandments headstone over there. This is just an absolutely killer, killer mud flutter. And you're talking about this little town right here. Now we'll go check out the uh, the mud flood action, but let's go. Uh, let's walk this way real quick. Let's check out these steps. We're talking look at these flights: one, two, three, four, five. Check out our columns here. Kind of the false-looking ones with the. These columns have a, you know, seams and granite and stuff like that. But still though, man, really cool. Really beautiful, man. Just a neat courthouse. Really cool construction. I like to go to these type of places right here. This is your looking out from the steps of the courthouse in Love Lock. Cool shot. Come down these stairs and uh, this is Pershing County biblical type of names this is the county building I just want to go look at this uh, this uh, our little historical signs we've got our little grabber little gravel and narratives I always get a nice little shot of these. So, if you need to, and then yeah, we'll just go ahead and take a look at our neat building, man. Neat, neat mud flutter. We got some serious cameras on us, but we'll take a stroll. We'll see here. That's a little bit down. Decided to dig that door down there. my normal check around the sides I like to I like to look at these buildings from all angles and then uh, see uh, where they're situated as compared to other buildings but uh, pretty cool and we went ahead and built this thing you know what the cornerstone was back there I didn't get the cornerstone we got a nice little brick up there cool building man I was watching, uh, I was watching, uh, what was it, Our Melted Reality the other night, and a guy, or somebody, I forget, I was watching a show, oh, I know what it was, I was watching, I was on Old World Florida, and a, and a guy calls in from California talking about the shape of, uh, the shape of uh, fountains, how they're a circle with a square, kind of, they're circle with points, well, this building is almost shaped like that, I, I'm getting the feeling, off these corners here. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a giant fountain. So let's go over here and check. Uh, I messed up real quick. Bear with me. I hate when people walk around and say nothing and do nothing, but uh, I neglected to get the cornerstone of this place. Get the year. I think it's in 1920. So we'll get that. And that is, yeah. So I like to get these and uh, look at kind of the way. Look at the U. And uh, there's nothing that uh, is uh, nothing. Nothing is. How do I, what am I trying to say? There ain't nothing there for no reason. Okay, folks. 
we got stuff and it's for reasons now what no this is gonna be fun here, here's what we do here we go we go where there's the uh platinum ford edge is down there over there or titanium god titanium ford edge mona k is on standby sam sam's got the day off um but uh we're gonna we're gonna take a quick stroll over here and we're gonna look at this two things i wanted to uh go ahead and look at here in this nice quaint little park the little town it's kind of dead man there's some good there's some cool mud flutters down there cool mud flutters down there clock tower down there um, here's this let's see what is this saying okay 1864 1860s baby and uh, here was a key point on Nevada's earliest road, the famed Humboldt Trail that brought 165,000 immigrants west in the 1840s and 50s. Travelers named this rich valley the Big Meadows and stopped for water and grass before continuing south to cross the dreaded 40 mile desert. Oh, that's good. that's a good one, the 40 mile desert is a great, uh, a guy that uh, the, Reno, the Reno You Know did a, did a great video on that. Uh, the most difficult lap on the trail to California. Yeah, it's famous, uh, famous one. Mark Twain supposedly did it and stuff. Um, mine, uh, mining, still an important industry, began here in the 1850s, before the 1860s. George Lovelock, merchant, rancher, and prospector, gave his name to the county seat. The coming of the railroad in 1869 brought new growth to the area, Pershing County, established in 1919, baby, was previously part of Humboldt County. Nevada Centennial Marker 17. I like this one. That's a nice little marker. Okay, so we read that. We've got we've got lots of nines and lots of ones in uh, in that little thing. And I'm like thinking to myself, I wonder who paid for that. Uh, I wonder who paid for that uh, that sign to be there. I wonder who had you know built this beautiful courthouse over here. You know. Uh, who, who would, well, let me see here, wait a minute. Starting to get our answers here. And you know when I just, I'm so confused and I, I don't need the answers to my questions, I, I just start wandering down the street and all the answers, you know, become clear. There it is. There it is. Joe King out.